Welcome back. It's been a little while, and despite moving across the country, I've still got some devices to show you how to repair. Today we have the iPhone 13 mini, a phone that is rarely repaired due to having one of the most expensive screens of any iPhone. This one is shattered, which means Apple's overpriced $250 screen opening tool won't even help in the opening process, but my $1 pry tool should work perfectly. First things first, there are two penelobes to remove from the bottom next to the lightning port. I can't wait to see Apple's proprietary throttled USB-C in a few years. The paper-thin screen is tightly recessed in the frame. To keep it from exploding into powder, I'll place it on the heating pad for a few minutes to soften the adhesive. From there, it's easy enough to run my trusty pry tool around the edges, avoiding the left side entirely since all the ribbons have moved over there. With a bit of perseverance and encouragement, the glass should pop up easily without giving me a mouthful of splintered Gorilla Glass. Yummy, right? Inside, we find what might be the simplest design for iPhone shielding yet. A single tri-wing screw secures the plate over the battery, charging, and display ribbon connectors. Two more hold another shield over the proximity sensor connector towards the top. That's right, no ear speaker attached to the screen this time around. But the sensors still need to be moved to the new display. Three little tri-wing screws hold a tiny shield over the sensor array at the top of the display. Under that, you'll find a microphone, which is used when you're on speakerphone or talking to Siri. You'll see a proximity sensor that turns the display off when you're on a phone call, as well as what I believe is an ambient light sensor or light meter that assists with the auto brightness and true tone functionality. These are glued in and a bit of heat will help free them. Surprisingly, we're already at the point where we start working backward, reinstalling the proximity assembly into our new display. The cables are incredibly short and poorly designed, so take care when reconnecting them. You'll need to keep your display supported so it doesn't put excess pressure on the weak ribbons causing them to rip or tear. Overall, the iPhone 13 mini is a breeze to work on, but is also arguably one of the least popular phones Apple has put out in the past 10 years. I find this pretty surprising considering what a great size the phone is. It fits comfortably in almost anyone's pocket. In any case, thanks a ton for sticking around to the end. If this repair helped you out, let me know. I'll see you next time.